Right then, so you over, you did see the overall specifications during the overall installation and the overall build. Now, it is a B650M motherboard from ASRock. It's got it's an AM5 motherboard. Of course, it's got one Gen 5 M.2 uh, M slot at the top. It supports DDR5. And, of course, it's got DDR5 in there, provided by Kingston. Of course, the case, the cooler, and the power supply were provided by Cooler Master. So, I'd like to say a big thank you to all three of them. Without them, it wouldn't have happened. And then, of course, I am also using the brand new A-Pacer Gen 5 2 terabyte NVMe. Now, it's Gen 5 speeds up to 12,000 megabytes a second. So... That review for that will be coming very soon. And then, of course, I've got some more DDR5 here as well from them. And I overall like the overall build. I'm starting to appreciate smaller form factor builds because the case I use for my main system is the Hype Y40, which for a mid-tower, it's rather small. And I'm really actually liking this. Now, if I can get an ITX motherboard from one of the vendors like MSI, uh, Azrox, I and mean, if I can get one of them for a B650 or even the X7 uh, 670, I will request another case from Cooler Master, maybe something that's even smaller to do another build. And I'm really liking the overall aesthetics. Yeah, the only RGB really is the RAM, but of course, this is more about small form factor. If you want to add fans, it's got support at the front for fans and at the top. So at least you wouldn't have to worry. But the, there is perforations in the front. There's perforations in the back. Uh, on the top, sorry. And then, of course, then, of course, you can fit a massive power supply. But I'd be careful because there is overall size. I'll make sure to put it by here or during the video so you guys know. Do you want to see the back? So let's actually do the back, shall we? Now this case does actually have like rubber standoffs on the screws to the back. So essentially you could actually have this sitting down, lying down on its back. But of course, that's not the overall uh, orientation. But you, of course, there is that option. And what I will say is for the price of this case, which I'll make sure to put by here, it's not actually bad for something that small. And yeah, I wish... Of course, I wish that it came with more fans pre-installed. As for cable management, as you can see, it's definitely got room at the back for cables. So I didn't have to actually cable tie anything down because it. I'm doing. I'm using all NVMe, so I don't need an SSD. But it has that at the back for a hard drive and SSD, and it's got plenty of space at the back as well. And then, of course, the back. You have to be careful because it does support up to only a four slot card so make sure if it's if it's a it's a three three lot uh, three slot card it will fit but you have to be careful as you can see my 7800 xt nitro plus from sapphire is a big card it's not small and i had a little bit of finicky to get it actually installed but overall than that the case is actually wonderful so, if you want to actually buy any of these products, I will make sure to put, leave links down below. They will be for Scan as well as Amazon. So, yeah. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've still got loads of stuff coming here. I've got the, obviously, the A-Pacer Gen 5 drive to review. I've got DDR5. I've got uh, other products here from Akasar. I've got products coming from Thermal Right, Thermal Grizzly. That, they're still sending me stuff. I've got loads of stuff in the pipeline, so make sure you subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and comment down below. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Good. Bye.